ladies and gentlemen, let's have a conversation. <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, let's have a conversation. This is not going to be the best, but let's have a conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a conversation. Y'all come in here, tag a friend to tell a friend, because I'm... I'm really not gonna stand here long. Um, I'm gonna make this really quick, really short. Um, I just have, I just have one thing to say and one thing to say only. I'm just gonna make this really quick and really short. So if you guys can tag a friend to tell a friend to come. Um, <clears throat> the more people, the quicker they come, the better. So let's go. Y'all share the live, tag a friend to tell a friend, um, and let's just, let's just go, because it needs to be said. So, uh, 200 people, and, um, I'm not, I'm honestly, I'm not in the mood right now, um, I'm not gonna stay on here long, I'm gonna be very quick on here, so, <clears throat> y'all be here with me. I'm gonna be very, very quick. Y'all share the live, tag a friend to tell a friend to come. I just have something really quick I wanted to get off my chest about what transpired today. Um, and I just I just wanna get it, I just wanna get it out. I, I really just wanna get it out. And I feel like the best thing was to do was to come to the public and let the public know what's going on and see what the public wants me to do and see what the public suggestion is um <clears throat> it's a it's um let's y'all share the live i'm not gonna stand here long it's you know and i understand because i open up myself to this platform i open up myself to be scrutinized i open up myself to be praised i open up myself to be you know, loved and chastised and whatever. But you know what really gets to me sometime? When I try to do something good and no matter how good of a deed it is, somebody has to make it and turn it into something really, really negative. Now, everybody knows over the past couple of weeks, I have been raising money for Bria. May her soul rest in peace. <coughs> Everybody knows I've been raising money for Bria over the past couple of weeks. And I've been very successful in raising that money. We got it up to a hundred and something thousand EC dollars. I've been very successful in doing so. But you know what really, really is killing me right now? Is today, not even 12 hours ago, Bria passed away. And... The only questions I'm getting, the only question, the only concern my fellow Kitishans have for me <clears throat> is <clears throat> what am I going to do with the money? Kyle, what are you going to do with the money? Kyle, the child dead now, what are you going to do with the money? Y'all, y'all really have some compassion, <clears throat> have some heart, have some decency the first thing y'all thinking about is money a little girl lost her life because we the adults did not ask for better medical health care because we the adults <clears throat> have settled for less than what we deserve she has lost a life at the hands of us because we came before her. We did not do enough to elect people that can protect us and that can protect her when we need medical help. And the only question you guys could come and ask me is about the money. The money. That's the question you guys have for me. The money. Y'all are not thinking about the mother who just lost her child, the grandmother, the father, the auntie, the sister, the uncle. Y'all not thinking about none of that. 
y'all are thinking about the money a hundred thousand easy dollars is absolutely no money to me right um i've seen a hundred thousand easy dollars many times so i'm not frightened over a hundred thousand dollars please nobody ask me about the money there is gonna be a time when i'm going to sit with the mother on the call sit with the parents of the child sit with travidan who helped me to raise that money and we are going to come back to the public and allow the public to decide where that money goes if the public decides the mother get the money john doe get the money peter paul get the money that is what we are going to do i am not having any discussions with anybody surrounding the money the money was raised for bria it was raised for her and we will stick to that plan the goddamn nerves of some of you to come and ask me about money when a fucking child just lost their life when a little girl was not given the second chance that we promised her we promised her a second chance we promised her that she will be okay we told everybody that she would be okay why are we concerned about the money it's a hundred and fucking seven or eight thousand dollars that is nothing that is nothing no amount of money could compare to a child's life we promised her that we were going to make sure that she's okay we promised her that she is going to be okay we promised her that we will take care of her we promised her that we will get this done we promised her that she is going to be given a second chance we made that promise to her and that was not done because god had a different plan for her and the only question you guys can come and ask me is about the money. Come on. Come on, people. Come on. We got to do better than this. We have to do better than this. It's funny, you know. This morning I got up and I was going to make a, um, a post because I spoke to the mother a few days ago. And the mother tell me the little girl is in the hospital doing some tests and stuff like that. I reach out to someone at PALS. I'm in very close connection with someone at PALS. And I reached out to the individual and we had a really good conversation. She said to me, a hospital is in Jamaica reviewing the medical records. And things are looking good so we may move into that direction. She said, when I come back on Saturday, I will give you a full update. Saturday, Sunday, I will give you a full update. I am on the phone with the woman today. When I get a text from the daughter's mother, the little girl's mother, that she passed away. I was on the phone with the lady from Pals because I got a previous call about the daughter, the little girl passing away. And I could not believe it. I picked up my phone and I called one of the pals representative and I said, hey, have you heard what's going on? Have you heard what's going on? She said, no. I said, I just got a call that Bria passed away. Her whole voice dropped while I'm on the phone with her. I got a text from her mother, Kyle, Bria gone. Me heart just dropped and I started to cry right away. And the only thing you guys are concerned about is Kyle having that money. What am I going to do with the money? The money is there. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just tell you guys. There are 40, 4, 0 other kids in St. Kitts and Nevis via the PALS network that needs help medically. There are 40 other kids that need to be given a second chance and probably more. 40. I was told today by the PALS representative and probably more that needs medical help.
But the first things you guys can say is worry about where the money is going. Let me give you guys an update. I will choose seven people in St. Kitts and Nevis. And this is reputable people. I will have the mother present and Travis present, a person from Pals present. I do not want to be in the way of where the money goes and how the money is going to be spent. A group of people will decide what we do if we refund the money or we put the money towards another child. If we help the mother with the burial or we give the money to another child, that is my intention. And quite frankly, if we have to re refund all the money, that will be done. Y'all are concerned about money when we have a child just lost her life. And we have 40 other kids in St. Kitts and Nevis right now via the PALS network that needs medical help. <clears throat> And y'all concern is a hundred and seven to eight thousand dollars. Really? Really? Bria was just a start to something greater. Y'all come on, come on, come on, man. Y'all got to do better than this. Y'all have to do better than this. My platform was used to raise that money. Let us come together. And let us all come together and say and decide what that money will be used for. I don't want to be a part of it. I want nothing to do with what the money is used for. Let the public decide that because it's the public donated the money. I am a part of that too. But I don't want nothing. I am not the only deciding factor. Are you give me a break? I've seen many $107,000 already. Y'all ain't got to send in a group chat that I gonna take the money. That is not how I operate. That is not my character or my reputation. That is not how I operate. And uh, listen, are you give me a break? Are you leave me alone? Please. Please. Let us worry about Bria. Let us worry about the 40 other kids in St. Kitts and Nevis. It could be your nephew, your niece. It could be your son, your daughter. Let us worry about the 40 other children right now. And if y'all think a lie, contact pals. And pals will tell you there are 40 other kids that need medical attention. 40 other parents and families cannot afford right now to, to, to take care of all the medical expenses. But are you, are you, Lord, let Bria rest in peace. Let us celebrate her life. Let us not worry about the money. The money is going to always be there. The money is going to be there. And I can tell you guys straight up right now. This is where I stand. I am in full support. Of helping the mother bury the child. Because that was the money was raised for. I am in full support of that. But I also believe. That some of the money should go towards other children. Because everybody gave the money with a willing and open heart. Everybody gave money with a willing and open heart. Let us keep that in mind. The money is not the problem. What we should be lobbying and worried about is better medical facilities. Better health care. Better representation in the Ministry of Health. Not only for our children, but for us adults as well. I told you guys I'm not going to stay on here long. I'm not going to stay on here long. But I just wanted to address this publicly. Because I am tired of my phone blowing up. I am tired of my phone blowing up with questions about the money. Anybody wants to know where the money is going to go, direct them to my page. 
they will get all the answers they need. Where I stand right now, I think it is the best thing to do to help the mother bury the child. And after that, I think the next best step is to help other families get the medical help financially that they need. That is the goal for me right now. That is the goal for me right now. I am not worried about nothing else. So please, nobody call me. Nobody send, nobody go message me and ask me nothing about any money. Nobody send, nobody go ask me nothing. Send them to this video. Send them to this video because this is all I am going to respond with. I am no, I don't care what nobody else has to say. Say what y'all want, but bet your life Bria will be taken care of and she will be sent off properly. And bet your life any money that's left or anything. And the public decides we are going to help another child. That is what we will do. That is what we shall do. So to the public that donated I am asking for your opinion. Let us put the rest of that money to go towards another child. Because we lost one. And it was unfair. We don't want to lose any more. And we will not lose any more. If I have to come back on here again. And raise money for another child. I will. I will. I will come back on here and I will raise money again for another child because every child deserves a chance and if they're not given a chance they deserve a second chance and that is what I'm going to continue to do so please please I'm begging all you leave me alone leave me alone a hundred and seven a hundred and eight a hundred and ten thousand dollars that is not money I'm worried about. I have seen $110,000 many times. Many times. Let us have a heart. A mother just lost a child. Let us have a heart. A mother just lost a child. Let us shower her with love. Because the mother fought a battle that many of us would not know. The mother fought a battle that many of you will not understand. <clears throat> the mother fought a battle that many of you would have given up long time. So let us be mindful. Let us rally behind her because her daughter did not get the second chance that we all promised her. Let us rally behind her and every other mother and every other father every other family out there who is waiting for a second chance for their sibling let us rally behind them and let us give them the love let us support them financially in whatever way we can that is what we are here to do are you done the fuckery done the fuckery are you asking about where money gonna go coil who you gonna give the money to coil you should refund the money coil you should do this are you don't tell me what to do when I am going to make a move on this, I will come to the public. It is a conversation I am going to have with the mother and Travidan before I say or do anything. Because that is who helped me to raise the money, Travidan. And the money was picked up in the name of Bria. So they too must be included in the decision making. The money is not mine. I don't call the shots on the money. In fact, I don't want no parts of it. As I tell everybody, I, am, I don't know what's going on. I only use my platform for this. I don't care where the money goes, who the money goes to. I want the money to go towards medicals for a child. That is all I care about. I don't care who gets the money. I don't care which hospital or which doctor. We got to come better than these people. So I'm begging Ayo once again. Bria is nothing to me. 
But here's what I'm gonna say to you guys. That death hit me home today. When that woman called me on video chat and showed me her lifeless daughter's body on the bed. When that mother called me today and showed me her daughter's lifeless body on the bed. My whole life flashed in front of me. My whole life flashed in front of me. I couldn't even finish work. Because that death is personal to me. On my WhatsApp status, I posted, what could I have done differently? What could we have done differently? Is there anything else we could have done to give her a second chance? Because I feel like I failed. Because I was not able to do it in the matter in which I wanted it to be done. That death is personal to me because I came on here and I promised her. We promised her that we will take care of her. So it is personal to me. Very personal. Very personal to me. That I've since that woman called me today. I have a massive headache. And y'all could tell I'm not shouting me and me normal ranting self. And it's rant a one rant right now because of the fucked up questions them y'all coming in my inbox with. I want to rant but I can't because I don't want my head to hurt me anymore. I failed that little girl because I did not ask. I did not put people in place for a better hospital, for better medical care. That is why I am upset. That is why I am upset. Because I helped to promise her a second chance. I helped to promise her a second chance. And that is why it's hurting me. That is why it's hurting me. Today when I was driving home, I asked myself, do I want to continue this second chance name? Because of things like this, if it happens again, Do I want to continue the second chance narrative for this to happen again? Don't want to. This is personal to me. This is very personal to me. This is very personal to me because I feel like I failed her. I honestly feel like I failed her because I was a part of raising that money and she did not get the second chance that I promised her. She did not get the second chance that we promised her. And that's what's eating me up inside. That is what's eating me up. I have a nasty headache. That is what's eating me up. Because it's not fear for her. It's not fear. It is not fear that we had to lose her. That was not right. I keep asking myself since I got the call this morning. What could I have done differently? What could I have done or do or say differently? What could have been a different approach to get that little girl help? And the fact that she's not here, the second chance that I promised her, that's why I feel the way I feel. That's exactly why. Like, that's my own child. That's how we make me feel right now. Honestly. That's how we make me feel. Because I could not give her the second chance that I promised her. And no, she's not here. No, she's not here. So that's why I feel guilty. That's honestly why I feel guilty. And then you have come in my inbox with these dumb questions. It's not fear. It's not fear to me either. It's not fear to me. It's not fear to me. So I just leave me alone, please. Just leave me alone. That's all I'm asking. And I'm not good. Just leave me alone. That's all I'm asking. That was your child just as much as my child. Y'all just leave me alone. 